your IMAP project that uh, was funded, and it's a wet storage project. Can you tell me about the previous project that you had and why it was necessary to upgrade the technology? The, um, the older system we have is we draw water in from main sound mm -hmm. and it circulates in our system and the old system we have is what we call an open system. So water come in, it goes through our product and then it get discharged. So there's no refrigeration uh, to the water at all. Mm -hmm. So in the summertime, when the water temperature is warm outside, a lot of time we're facing difficulties because the water comes in are, are, are too warm, you know, up to 10 degrees. So the new system that we have here um, is we have put in a refrigeration unit that could actually take the seawater that we can treat it and reduce the temperature. And then through, you can see here is we have the reservoir and we also have the drum filters here that will filter the water and at the same time keep the cold water underground. And then those water would then be pumped into our wet storage uh, area there whereby, particularly in the summertime when the weather is warm, when the product comes in warm, we're now able to put those product into our system and chew it down to like three, four degrees without any, any problem. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me why this, is, this technology has advanced uh, the wet, your ability to wet store oysters? Yeah, during the years, of course, the, the, the chilling system, the units, the ultraviolets, the variable speed pump uh, enable us to put this system together. And like I said, without it, uh, we would be running just with the normal natural water temperature, which goes quite high in the summertime in Vinsa. Right. Um, that's great, Brian. Uh, what, what are you excited about this project? What makes you uh, excited in terms of how this will benefit both Fannie Bay oysters and the, the shellfish industry in general in BC? Especially, you know, traditionally summertime are difficult months for us because we have strict temperature controls uh, with VP that we have to bring the product in um, you know, within an hour of harvesting, we have to make sure that the, the uh, product is, is free of rebuild. So with this system in place, we're able to chew the water temperature down. So the, the oysters is just like living in winter. So we will never have a summer here. And with the winter uh, temperature, we're able to have better assurance that when the product leaves any bay, that there is no VP in it. And at the same time, we enable us to buy more product from other independent growers, which enable us to put through the system uh, when we have to chew water to, uh, to take care of it. Awesome, thanks a lot, Brian.